Look, in my view, you should absolutely get the contract reviewed by a solicitor or a conveyancer prior to entering into a contract, but definitely before you go unconditional on a property. Because let's be honest, it's a big decision that you're about to make. You're going to spend a lot of money. And uh, there's a reason why lawyers and solicitors drive around in beautiful cars and live in beautiful homes because they're good at words. And uh, the, I guess the key here is that a contract is being written up on behalf of the seller not on behalf of the buyer. So it's important that we go through it to make sure that we're not sort of walking down a path of consequences that we're not at least aware of or you know, in some cases negotiated to make sure that it gets the balance back in favour of the buyer as well as the seller as well. So you know, it's important to keep in mind that uh, the contract is written for the seller, not for the buyer. Um, the other thing we want to keep in mind is we, we also want to look for any negative aspects of a property that aren't immediately apparent just upon first inspection. So for example, what if you're buying a house that has a property right next door that's got a development application in place where they're going to build another story or extend out the back and that may actually have some negative consequences on shadowing on your property for example. So it's important that you know that before you buy that property so that you can make a decision on where you think the value exists knowing that information. So you'll only find that out by having you know, a closer look at the detail. Another example is if you're buying an apartment, for example. Um, at face value, all apartments look very similar, um, but I recently bought a property in Mossman, which is in the lower north shore of Sydney, where it was a two-bedroom apartment, and it was only under further inspection of the contract did we realised that it was actually company title. And so company title has ramifications for lending, but it also has ramifications for resale, because it's not the, I guess, the most popular form of title. And whilst it's not a barrier to buying, um, it certainly does have its own set of, um, I guess, circumstances and um, considerations that you need to think about when buying that type of property. The other thing to keep in mind too is if you're buying at auction, it's unconditional as soon as the hammer goes down. There's no point saying, okay, I've bought the property, I need my sister to check it because it's too late. Because if there's anything in that contract that doesn't work, you're still buying. You've just bought the property under the hammer at auction. So it is absolutely critical that you get the inspection done prior to turning up at auction. And the last thing I want to keep in mind too is um, you never go into a transaction thinking that you are going to default, but some people just do. They, you know, they're due to settle on a Friday and they don't settle until the Monday or the Tuesday or the Wednesday the following week or just something gets in the way for a minor default. Um, you need to be aware of what the ramifications are for you if in the event that you do have a default. So again, a thorough check will be able to help you do that. So in my view, it's absolutely essential that you get the contract reviewed by a specialist, whether that's a solicitor or a conveyancer, um, definitely prior to going unconditional on a property, but in my view, in uh, the majority of cases, um, prior to even putting an offer in on the property.